Hey y'all, what's going on? Happy Friday to you all. I pray that um, all is well with you all on this Friday. I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't want this video to be um, too long. I sent out a quote today and it says, um, with exposure comes healing. What are we willing to uncover to truly be able to walk in our healing? Um, with that being said, like I told y'all in the last video, um, my sister, my friend, Danita, she talked about, um, how we put band-aids on things to cover, um, to cover things up. But what we don't realize is we actually need that band-aid off in order for whatever we're covering to heal so that it can get air, so that it can get oxygen, so that it can um get new life and the same thing the same thing um applies to us we have to be willing um to uncover what we're hiding so that we can get healed from from it we carry so much stuff we cover up so much stuff because we are so um concerned about what people may think how they're gonna judge us how they're gonna look at us after the fact of um things being exposed um and i can only speak for me um i talked to y'all about this before but never like how I'm gonna open up a, about it now, and I'm also got a blog coming about it really soon. Um, from the ages of 17, maybe even a little bit younger, um, so we'll say 16, 16 through 24, I suffered from depression really, really, really bad. Um, nobody knew, nobody knew how depressed I was, just trying to figure out who I was in life in general, being, you know, born differently. Like y'all know I have cerebral palsy, you know, being in high school, just wanting to be a part of things, but yet having to do, you know, things a lot differently. Um, and then going into adulthood and wanting to experience love and, finding someone that's um not gonna use you for your body and all of those different things such as life from 16 through 24 i went through depression very very badly um nobody ever knew because i never said anything i carried everything with a smile i just wrote everything in my journal and left it but what I didn't realize and what in turn what I realize now is that I was silencing my voice and um by me carrying all of those things it was hindering what I was really trying to do which was live life and in 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 um and be me and um <laughs> with the depression came thoughts of suicide it was many times where I sat in the bathroom like thinking of how was I going to do this how was I you know going to heal myself like how was I going to do this how um but God but God he always stepped in like he never let it be and I'm exposing this now is because I'm walking in my healing it was so many things that just had had me like my dad truly not wanting me um because of my disability um cousins trying to touch you because of a limitation because you know they thought you were cute or whatever whatever the case may be 
I'm ripping all of these band-aids off and I'm exposing it for what it is because somebody needs me to be vulnerable and expose myself so that they can expose themselves. And I um, medicated with faking, like just smiling just because, you know, um, drinking, you know, just to medicate. But as I started writing, writing was my voice. Me really speaking up it was my voice. And I encourage you all to expose, expose it so that it can be healed from it. Because the more you carry it, the more you keep pushing it down and and trying to act like it doesn't, it's going to come up. In a way that's not healthy. Stop silencing your voice. Walk in your healing. Expose it for you. Not for... (laughs) Expose it for you. So that you can walk in your healing. And walk in what it is. um, That God has placed you here to do. Like I say. Somebody is waiting on our voice. To be their voice. So walk in it. Walk in the healing. Um... With that being said, you guys have an awesome weekend. I love, 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 love you all. Please, y'all, check out my friend Danita Graham on Instagram. I'm going to, I mean, not Instagram, excuse me. She is on Instagram, but I'm saying on her YouTube channel. I'll put her name in um, the description box. Y'all be blessed. Keep praising. Keep fighting. Keep worshiping. Keep standing. Keep pressing. Keep being unapologetically, y'all. Until next video, y'all. Be blessed.